Okay, it's starting to rain, so let's get this done quickly. That's what I'm talking about. Together we can make it. So I finally made it over to Stu's. We've done all our errands. It's now four o'clock. Um, it's past four o'clock now, and we're starting to get hungry. <laughs> yeah. Sorry if this bit. This is going to be really shaky because I'm shaking because I'm hungry. But okay. Today on the MR2, as you can see, it's beautiful. Hopefully the wide angle lens will pick up all this. Like so far, yeah, we just kind of jacked out. But yeah. Uh, so what the problem is, as you can probably tell from all the brake dust, is the fact that these brakes are sticking on. Now me and Stu have already took them apart and took the slides out, slide pins, slide pins yeah. Uh, we took the slide pins out and they are still plugged. So we need to take it out and then we need to crack the, hopefully, the piston. These are dual pistons so you'll see what we'll do. Alright, so first thing to do is take off your wheels. So we're going to do that in an instant. That's better. So basically on a caliper like this, you have your two slide pin bolts, which are here and here. You've also got your bleeder valve there. And then you've got your car two carrier bolts behind here, which don't really need to come off that often. You can usually just get away with unloosening these slide pins and taking them out. That's realistically what you are probably going to clean all the time. But we're actually going to take the whole caliper off, but we can get away with this with only taking the slide pins off. <laughs> That's so hot. We're not going to be able to handle that very well. Pizza? So yeah, uh, we just got back from... I'll have to get down real low because I'm not sure if I'll be in frame. What's up? Uh, yeah, so we just got back from our food. It was good. Uh, I, would rate, I would rate it quite highly, actually. Uh, so now we're going to take the caliper off, which is this bit. You don't want to be taking these sliders off because... Well, you've not unbolted them, that's why. But yeah, so basically this should come off, but if it's stuck like ours, then you're going to need to get a screwdriver and start prying it out. So that's what my lovely assistant's going to go grab me as he struggles to get off the tire and now tries to not scratch the MR2. Yeah, you know, you get what I mean. Also, uh, a good idea to put on some gloves at this point. Uh, so... Oh god. So go, go find your local gloves. Um, these are always handy and they get your hands less dirty. Because these brakes are very dirty and I'm guessing yours will be too. So brake dust isn't good for your hands either. Or your face or your nose or your airwaves. Or does it taste good? No. It's not good. Selection of screwdrivers. Basically grab your screwdriver. Hopefully I've got this in a good angle and just start prying until this comes off. And also watch your fenders. So as you can see here, these are our two pistons here. They should be able to move back and forward, but if they don't, then that means they're seized. Like, you want to hang these up somewhere, just so you don't pull on the brake line. Usually there's something quite good, like you can usually reach up here, but Oh god, that was a bad voice break. You can usually reach up there, but hanging it up on somewhere means that you just don't break that brake line and twist it like I just did. So yeah, your slide pin should just slide on out. Probably not as easy as that one just done, but yeah, it should just slide on out. Whereas this one here, it's a little bit stiff, but it does come out. Probably needs another good cleaning, but I don't think these are the problem. I think it's just the piston, it's actual self. As you can see, a slide pin is just very simple. If yours is bad, then it'll be all gunked up with shit, but this isn't, so it slides in and out there quite nicely. And then also you got this boot you want to clean out and put back in properly. So yeah, if you've got gunk on here, just get a bit of sandpaper, just kind of sand it down until it's nice and clean, and yeah, you're basically good to go. Just reapply some kind of grease. We use copper. Copper grease isn't actually 
good for brakes at all. You're not really meant to use it, but it's all we had at the time because it starts to dry up. Now, when it does dry up, it clogs up and it just makes a mess and it just makes it more sticky. So just spend a bit of time cleaning them up, slot them back in when you're done. There should be a boot there, but it keeps coming off. So put your boot on, slide that on, put your boot in there, and you're all good. So the next thing you want to check is your pads. Sometimes you'll get these little bits of metal, just keeps them together, keeps them pushed up. And these, you might have to take your carriers off, which is that two bolts behind. Usually they're about 17 mil, 17 mil, but you can you should be able to just kind of slide your pads out. And you'll have like two little runners here and here, and it's the same there. Just make sure they're all greased up pretty nicely. Good time to check. Make sure how much material you've got left in your brake pads. As you can see, we've still got loads. Your material's just this part here. So I forgot to tell you what was going on in this clip. We're trying to get the pistons moving back and forwards to kind of crack them because they might be stuck down with rust or something. So we're using an old brake pad and a G-clamp to push the pads in and then I'm getting my mate Stu to press down the brake pedal slowly making sure the pistons don't extend too far out just so I can push it back in with the G-clamp. Then we're just repeating the process, pushing the, pushing the pistons back in, pushing the pistons out, pushing the pistons back in, pushing the pistons out. If one of these pistons moves at a time whenever you press down the brake, or if the piston is having trouble moving, then it probably means the whole the whole caliper seized, which would mean you would have to replace it. But yeah, that's what's going on in this. Uh, I kind of had to quickly just just do a little voiceover. That's why my lips aren't moving to what I'm saying. But yeah, you get the point. So if you have a caliper that's sticking and it stinks of brake pads, they've got a very distinct smell of it. Start off by taking your wheel off, jacking up the car, well obviously do this both at the same time, don't take your wheel off and then jack up the car, that's probably on the ground. And then taking your slide pin bolts out, which is usually like a 14mm, take your calipers off, then take your slide pins out, make sure they're all good, give them a little sanding, give them a little bit of grease, any kind of grease you want, just keep in mind that some greases don't really work well with heat, so please check first. I can't really recommend them a few because I'm using copper grease, which is not a good idea. So check your pins, sand them up, grease them up, put them back in, take your pads off, clean up the corners on the pads, clean up the bits where they sit, then grease them up, put them back in, and if it comes to that and where that doesn't work, try using a G-clamp to push the piston in and out. Just be careful if you've got twin pots like this, they might tend to one will move whereas the other won't so just be careful of that also don't push your brake pedal that hard or else it might fall out the piston might fall out but once you're done just put it all back together the same way you took it off and you should should have a car that works if that doesn't work then you might need to think about getting a new caliper for the car which aren't really that expensive these days like 130 quid for this double piston one. So putting these back together, it's simple, it's just the opposite thing that you've just done. So yeah, you can't really go wrong. Word, but who the fuck is her? It's time to take a trip to the suburbs. Let them see 